Welcome. Today we're going to look at some secret tips for iPadOS 15, things that I have learned as I've started using it more, as I've started reading, gathering, you know, weird things from all over, and that I have found really help me get the most out of iPadOS 15. Before we do that, a few ways you can support the channel. Number one is to become a YouTube member. You can join below. You get some of my videos early. Uh, you can also take one of my courses on Skillshare. You, what would you most be interested in? Time blocking? Uh, Obsidian, possibly? You can find links to all those below, or if you go to curtismichael.ca slash Skillshare, you will find uh, Skillshare. That's it. You can take a course. Buckle up. Let's look at iPadOS 15 secret tips. So for the first one, it's keyboard command. Shift command G is go to. You can see it pops up with this nice window and I could say on my iPad, and this has tab completion, tab. I go to affinity and now I could be into this folder right away. Shift command G, I can go to uh, iCloud, right? Zero, zero. It doesn't do partial matching. So if you noticed, if I went inbox, it doesn't do that, but zero, zero, one it did. And if I hit zero, zero, one, it would actually go straight to inbox because I know that that is there, right? There's no subfolders and I can get straight in there easily. Tip number one, shift command G will bring up, go to file folder, go to folder inside finder files for iPadOS 15. Another related one uh, is the keyboard commands. This works on anything that has keyboard commands in iPadOS. You know, if you hit command, hold it, you can start to see keyboard commands. But did you know, if you start typing, so I typed SI for hide sidebar, and now I can actually select with my keyboard, the keyboard command. So I can filter the keyboard commands available in any application just by starting to type any letters after you've held command, you can find it, and then you can activate it, right? I could say hide sidebar. And then I don't actually remember what that keyboard command is, so I gotta open up sidebar, show sidebar. That was control command S, control command S, hide and show sidebar. Next up, if we go to settings and we go to accessibility, we have sounds. So they are under where background sounds, audio visual, background sounds, and then we can actually choose uh, the background sound we want. We can turn it on, we can change the type of background sound we want, and this will actually layer over top of music. So if you want like a rain background, anything like that, then you can keep it and you can even turn off stop when locked so that your iPad basically becomes a white noise device. Next, we head back to settings and we go to Safari. And now we can look for extensions. This is actually the best way to find Safari extensions is to go to more extensions. I said this in my total video on Safari extensions, which I'll link up above. But if we go to more extensions, now we can actually find them easily. Unfortunately, iPadOS does not provide a great way to find extensions outside of just doing this. Next up, let's go to Safari. And if we go to Safari, we scroll all the way down to the bottom of this page, you can see we can edit. And now I can turn things off that I don't want. I can turn off shared with you because I don't want that. I can turn off suggestions, reading list, iCloud tabs, anything. I can change the background image as well. Right now it's a butterfly. I don't particularly like any of these. We'll just go with. Uh, can I take it off? Background image. I can, so I'll just leave it as it is. Uh, I don't use reading lists, so we'll turn that off. Uh, I don't use Siri suggestions ever, so we'll turn that off. Privacy report, fine. Uh, and then what I've left on is also the iCloud tabs, right? So this is things syncing from my MacBook Air. Another Safari keyboard command one is hiding and showing the sidebar. So, you know, if you touch or click with the trackpad, you can see it, but you can also do Shift Command L to hide and show it. I like that one. I use it all the time. And again, I could go in here and I could say sidebar to show sidebar. You know, I was just looking at it now. The shift command L hides it and shows it here, but then in files, it's something different. They really should unify those keyboard commands. Another one in Safari is dealing with your tab groups. If you long press, you can copy every link out of here as well. So in this, my iPhone cases, these are different iPhone cases I've looked at. And evidently one of them got delivered because I did order it. So I'll just close that. But now if I went into, I'll even say taught as a good note storage spot, I have all the links, although they're kind of hard to read like this because it's JSON, but I have them all. So if I wanted to get all just the links out, that's great. Now let's go back to settings and under battery, we have low power mode. 
Now, what does low power mode do? Low power mode shuts off a lot of your background processing, like iCloud photos, it's not gonna fetch mail, a bunch of stuff like that, just to save you battery. I'm actually gonna turn it on here to show you because I don't wanna mess with my recording. But low power mode can save you battery in those times when you are running out of a battery on your iPad, which I actually find happens more than I more than most people say it would, but I am a pretty heavy iPad user, so rendering video and stuff like that kills the battery faster. Next, also in settings, we are going to look at app library and we can actually turn this right off. I know some people don't like it. For those that wonder, that's this thing right here, your app library. It's accessible from the icon or it's accessible if I scroll all the way over, then I can see my app library. But if we go to settings, we can actually turn it right off, turn it off in dock. And now we won't even see it, right? It doesn't show up in my dock. It's still accessible by scrolling all the way to the, I guess, to the right. So if you don't like app library, if it gets in your way, if you find it annoying, just turn it off in settings. And I'm gonna leave it off now because I don't use it at all. Now let's head over to photos and we have some new information about a photo. So this is for my upcoming Safari extensions video. If I come in here, you can see I now have saved from Canva. I actually click on that and I can see all the photos that I've saved out of Canva. So it's just more metadata in photos for you uh, to access so you can see like where did everything come from, what apps saved this, so then you can find uh, things easier. And for our final one, let's head over to shortcuts because we can now back it up as a file, which is a little tricky. So I'm gonna open up one of them and we're gonna hit share. And this is where it gets tricky because you look and you say, I don't copy iCloud link, but I'll see save it out as a file. You have to actually go to options and then I can save it as a file and for anyone or people who know me. And now I can go back and now I have the option right here to save to files. So if you wanna back up your files then, or your shortcuts as files, that's how you do it. And you can just save it out to your iCloud uh, folder to wherever you want. And then you have a backup of all your files. That's it. That was 11 uh, kind of secret tips uh, for iPadOS 15. Things that I came up as I've like gathered tons of resources over the last number of weeks that have really helped uh, me specifically the one in files where I can go to a folder that helps me immensely all the time to get to a folder quickly um, without needing to go all over and look for things. That's it. If you liked the video, thumbs up below. If you loved it, subscribe, hit the bell. YouTube will let you know something happened and then turn off your notifications because you should be hanging out with your kids, stuff like that. If you want to support the channel, you can become a YouTube member. You can do super thanks below or you can head over to one of the Skillshare links, take one of my courses on stuff. Have a good day.